everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Jessica and today I am going to be messing around with my Marc Jacobs fantasy palette it needs to be repressed this is what it is looking like right now it uh, needs some help I have two empty pans here I do have this one that has been frankened and I'm going to put some of that back into this pan and use it as an eyeshadow and I think I might be frankening a shadow over here to have for my eyebrows. This is the franken that I made with this shadow here. I have been using this as a bronzer and it is beautiful as a bronzer so I think I'm going to put as much as I can back in this pan and then maybe with the remaining amount see if I can turn it into something that I can use for my eyebrows. All right so let's get started with putting this in here, at least a portion of it, so that I can get it ready to go back into the pan. I just have some 70% alcohol here in this old bottle that I have with an eyedropper and I'm just going to use that to repress this because it definitely has enough binding agent already. I just need to get it back into a form where I can put it into this palette. Okay, now that I have that in there, it looks like it's pretty full, but I know once I press some of the alcohol, it is definitely going to go down a little bit in the pan. So I'm going to use my reusable cloth and I'm going to press out that alcohol. Okay, we have that one done. It looks extremely dark, but we know that once it dries, this is what it actually looks like. So I am not too worried about that looking too dark. And let's get on to the Franken. I didn't bother scraping all of this out because I'm just going to put the rest of this in here. So it's not going to contaminate anything because it's the same thing. There is just a little bit left in this pan. I will use that the next time that I do my makeup and I will probably work that into my crease and it will get used up. Nothing will be wasted. I would actually like this to be a little bit cooler and a little bit darker so I am going to bring something in that is not currently in a project to see if I can do that. Anybody recognize this palette? I think I'm going to use one of the shades in here. I'm probably going to be working with this dark blue here because I think that will give us enough darkness and enough coolness to make this work for my eyebrows. If it doesn't work, then I'll just add a little bit of something else, but we're going to start with that one. Looks like a tiny fleck of teal went in there, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. I 
That definitely did not do enough, so I'm going to have to add significantly more to that. I'm not used to making this much mess, but I'm trying to work with not hitting my camera that is right above me. So let's see how this turns out. All right, this is not working out quite how I had hoped. It has definitely cooled it off quite a bit, which is what I prefer for my brows, but it is definitely not dark enough, so I'm gonna to have to add something in that is significantly darker. I don't know that I wanna add a black in though. It would make it look darker, but I have found when I put blacks in to deepen stuff up like this for my brows that it actually pulls way too black. Like that is the more prominent color so I think I am going to pull in a very dark brown that is too dark for my brows, but might work with this. So we're going to go to the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, and I am going to take the shade Triple Fudge. I try to go as evenly as possible on here because I do have this in a project to hit pan and I don't want me gouging into the pan to hit pan on it so to speak. I want to do that naturally but I still want to be able to use this eyeshadow so I tried to scrape as evenly as possible. Alright, it's still not quite as dark as I would like, but I do not know how the Coastal Scents Blue is going to react once it is wet with the alcohol. So I'm going to take my chances with this as is, and if it dries to a color that I don't think will work for my brows, I will refranken it, but I'm going to just go with this for now. Now I can already see that that blue is becoming much more prominent once it got wet. So who knows if this is going to work out. It may, it may not. But see how much cooler, darker, grayer that looks in there. That looks almost black now.
This looks insanely dark right now. We are going to have to wait until it has dried before I can swatch it because sometimes these swatches work well and sometimes they don't. So if it looks like that after it's dry, then I'm going to refranken it. But I think we're going to go with this for now and see how it goes. Okay, let's get these three repressed. I'm not going to bother with these two here because they are not at the point that I feel like they need to be repressed, but these three definitely do. I know a lot of people do not put their alcohol in first before they break it up, but I find that I am a little less messy if I do it like this. It kind of softens it. I can't say that it is 100% perfect doing it this way, but it seems to work best for me. It almost looks like a new palette. Let me turn this around for you. And that is what it looks like. This one I'm a little worried about because I've noticed on the edges where it kind of overflowed a little bit. The blue is definitely pulling strong in this one. So that one may be a refranken, but I feel like these three are going to be easy to work with now. And... This one will be a great bronzer. Like I said, I've been using it as a bronzer already, so I might just continue to use it as an eyeshadow and a bronzer. But every little bit that I had Franken of this shadow originally is now in this palette here and here. This one, like I said, not sure what's going to happen with that one, but it's looking a little bit crazy. So that is everything for this Frankening session. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I should have said Frankening and repressing since I did repress these and then I Frankened this one. Not sure how successful that Franken is, but we'll just play that by ear. But I enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed it as well too. I find this to be very relaxing, very therapeutic when I'm feeling a little stressed out. So hopefully you enjoyed it as well. All right, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.